Good morning, children. Welcome back to the session. We are discussing ninth standard English subject. I will find the question of space. So this will be the third session. Where in our previous session we have discussed up to a paragraph sixteen. That is where we have learned that the advice of the Anuj to Vikrant. That is. observe your body uh, when you are feeling happy or when you are feeling excited excitement or when you are uh, adventurous adventurous mood so then only you are uh, able to understand and uh, uh, the pressure then only you are able to understand the pressure what you are uh, feeling like that uh, the advice uh, given by the ikrams okay so 16 paragraph we discuss that is uh, like that uh, uh, anuj is going to expressing uh, the emotions uh, to the uh, family members and especially of uh, the uh, father so last 16 paragraph what we study uh, sure why not actually our range of expression is quite limited if we get familiar with our all Now, uh, with our full range, we will become aware of all our habitual expressions. But the next step is to practice expressions when there are no feelings to be expressed. I know this sounds daft, but think if you can express emotions without expressing them," said Anuj. So that will be discussed. Seventeen paragraph children. Open a textbook and follow the lines. Seventeen paragraph. Like how asked Vikram. Okay, suppose you get news that you have won a free trip to the U.S. How do you react, Aaj Anuj? So Anuj asked a question to the Vikram by giving a situation. Just to imagine the situation that uh, what he said. Assume that if you have won a lottery. Sorry, one year, a free trip to the U.S. How do you react? So the reply of Vikram, the U.S. Wow! Exclaimed Vikram, giving to his hands, body, and face such an exaggerated expression of glee that both collapsed laughing. So here, glee means happy. Glee means happy. A good news. Okay, so the automatic expression that came from Vikram is natural, and they are both happy with that expression and also laugh together. Self-observation happened on its own much sooner than Vikram expected. At dinner that night, his father asked Vikram, "Have you found out?" Which is the most suitable coaching center for your medical entrance test? No, said Vikram. No, what do you mean? Do what do you mean? No. If you still have not found when you when do you intend to enroll? I don't know. I am already full up with the tuitions. Bio, math, physics, chemistry. It is enough. It is tough. I cannot do tuition. Vikram noticed that his mouth was dry. He said, "Tight at the temples, his body slightly hunched." So that is the expression that he is going to uh, experiencing with his uh, father. That is uh, when he said like that, "No to the father." Tuitions for medical entrances are not just tuition. They coach you for a career. For a highly competitive exam, one wrong answer could make all the difference. It would be better if you turned your attention to investigating a coaching center rather than spend time with your junkies and irrelevant things. Finished Vikram's father. The answer told by Vikram to his father, no, uh, made the father to become angry, and he is going to advise him the Vikram. That uh, don't waste the time. Don't spend the time with the uh, 
Jai Kees, Dhiril and friends and all things. And he said, you have to look into the tuitions for your uh, coaching and also for the preparation for entrance exam. And he said that uh, the competitive exam will decide your uh, future like that. So Vikrant, 25th paragraph children, Vikrant noticed that his father's last remark sent a strong wave of heat through his otherwise weary body, galvanizing him to leave the room without another word. So the remarks done by his father uh, is going to make a strong effect on the mind of the Vikrant. Here, weary means uh, exhausted and uh, tired. Weary means uh, weary means uh, tired. This is uh, used as an uh, adjective. So here this is used. Uh, so weary means tired. Tired or we call uh, un exhausted. Exhausted. And galvanizing. Galvanizing it is used as a verb. The meaning of this will be uh, provoking, provoking, stimulating, provoking, stimulating. And it is said, uh, don't waste time in spending with the junkies. So, junkies means what? So, junkies, junkies here. As a noun, as a noun, Jenkins mean useless, unwanted, useless, unwanted, useless, unwanted. So, like that, uh, that uh, last remark uh, sent a strong wave uh, to this Vikrant uh, uh, was uh, exhausted with that uh, and uh, Vikrant knew these conflicts were not getting him anywhere. It was not as if he felt medicine was all wrong for him. He just did not want to be bulldozed like this. Bulldozed into working three shifts a day, six days a week. That is what the parents, what the parents are doing. He is observing the parent that is being a doctor. He used to spend uh, time, it is the three shifts, uh, first, second and night shift like that uh, and six days in a week, only one day rest like that. Uh, he thinks that uh, it is uh, what uh, the doctor's duty is uh, full of busy. So he doesn't want initially for that uh, profession of uh, medicine, uh, being a doctor. So okay, he felt he needed time to pursue his own interests and pleasures, especially after his meeting with uh, Anuj. So the idea, according to the wish of the parents uh, to become a doctor, is going to be somewhat changed in the mind of Vikrant after he met with the Anuj, the friend. Anuj spoke to him on various issues of the beginnings of life, the places he travelled to, the elements he used to compose, a uh, photograph, self-observation. If you can express yourself without feeling, you can feel as well without expressing, he had said. So that is some of the conflicts uh, going in the mind of Vikrant after the word of his uh, father. Since 26th paragraph children, when alone Vikrant tried to practice emotions he had not experienced. So now Vikrant begins to practice emotions uh, which he had not experienced after the advice of this uh, Anuj. At first, these were of joy, spontaneity, excitement. When he felt more neutral, he practiced a wider range, suspicion, hostility, daring, joy, scorn, each with uh, his uh, accompanying posture and gestures. Scorn means uh, disrespect. Dis dis Scorn, like that children. Scorn means uh, here yeah, contempt. Contempt or disrespect. Disrespect. So uh, each with its accompanying posture and gesture, his experiments 
with his uh, self observation helped him see a whole range of his uh, body reactions the effect that uh, different emotions had on the body and now how the mind got involved with these but things did not seem to change with his parents who he realized would continue treating him like a child so as long as he just chaffed and reacted so chaffed means irritated and the annoyed so chaff c h a f e d chaff a chaff as a verb spawn as a noun it is used so chaff irritated irritated annoyed irritated and annoyed so the words of parents basically in the beginning and to the vipral it is a irritating and annoyed one okay children so don't worry too much about to the change advised anoj noting vikrant's discouragement one evening so so this reactions anoj uh, said to vikrant don't worry too much about the change so noting vikrant's discouragement one evening we cannot really change anything till things are ready for a change listen carefully children we cannot really change anything till things are ready for a change just do your part so we have to go according to the situation so if the things are not going to change it is not possible for us to change ourselves so better we have to change our uh, mindset our uh, expressions uh, to the things uh, which are not going to change just do your part that is advised uh, by the anuj hey ha but it does not help said vikrant with a dejection dejection means sadness it is not going to agree with the anuj for his advice that is dejection means sadness what do you call depression okay children so this is about the 29th paragraph so we'll stop here and next period we'll discuss the remaining paragraph children take care children